In this video, you are going to be learn, learning how to change mixed numbers into improper fractions and improper fractions into mixed numbers. For today's goal, and you would write, want to write this down in your notes, is to be able to change a mixed number to an improper fraction and an improper fraction to a mixed number. You're probably wondering what an improper fraction is and what a mixed number is. An improper fraction has a numerator greater than or equal to the denominator. A mixed number has a whole number and a fraction. You, you want to write this down in your notes. Okay, now this is what an improper fraction and a mixed number actually looks like as far as pictures are concerned. So number one, what we have, this is an example. First of all, I'll show you an improper fraction. We have two pieces, okay, in each piece there are six little squares. So the denominator for my improper fraction will be six. And then the numerator, what I will do is count up however many squares are shaded in. So I have ten total shares square shaded in. Okay, so 10 is my numerator. So 10 sixth, that is actually the improper fraction. Then the mixed number will be 1 and 4 sixth. So you can see I have one total piece shaded in, and then 4 out of 6 of my other piece is shaded in for 1 and 4 sixth. Okay, for my second picture, I have four different diamonds, okay, divided up into four different pieces for each diamond. And what I will have for my num I'm sorry, my denominator is four. And then for my numerator, I will count up however many slices or pieces of each diamond is shaded in. So I can have I can see there's four, eight, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen pieces shaded in. So fifteen fourths or for a mixed number, it's three and three-fourths of the pieces are shaded in. So this is what an improper fraction and a mixed number looks like visually. Now you can take an improper fraction and change it into a mixed number. You should write this down in your notes. Divide the numerator by the denominator. Then your dividend is the whole number. The remainder is the numerator, and the denominator stays the same. Now Mr. Mangan is going to show you how you change the improper fractions to a, mis mix to a mixed number. Just follow along. Okay, so the first thing that you'll need to do is set up a division problem. We have three, or I'm sorry, eight divided by three. Okay, so you'll do this division problem first. Usually they're pretty simple division problems. 3 goes into 8 two times without going over. 2 times 3 equals 6. 8 minus 6 gives us 2. Okay, now we need to figure out where all these different numbers will go. Okay, remember the dividend is always my whole number. The remainder is going to be my numerator. Okay, so the R in remainder stands for right on top that numerator, that rem remainder is going to go right on top of our fraction and then once again the denominator stays the same. So 8 thirds as an improper fraction will be changed to 2 and 2 thirds as a mixed number. You will need to get your math journal and a pencil out and do the next two problems with Mr. Manga. Okay now we have the improper fraction of 10 sevenths. We want to set this up as a division problem. So our 7 is going to be our divisor, our dividend is going to be the numerator, the 10. Pretty simple division problem. 7 into 10 goes 1 time. 1 times 7 gives us 7. And now we subtract 10 minus 7 gives me 3. Now it's time to figure out where the 1, 7, and 3 need to go. Remember the dividend is your whole number the remainder is 3, so remember the remainder, the R in remainder stands for right on top of the fraction, and then the denominator stays the same for 1 and 3 sevenths. Now let's do another problem. We have 7 over 2. Okay, we're going to set this up as a division problem. The denominator is the divisor, the numerator is the dividend, Okay, pretty simple division problem, 2 into 7. 
Okay, 2 goes into 7 3 times. 3 times 2 is 6. Then we have 7 minus 6 is going to give me 1. Okay, so we have 3 with a remainder of 1. Okay, remember the dividend, I'm sorry, the um, quotient is your whole number. The R for remainder stands for right on top of my fraction. And then remember the dividend stays the same. So 3 and 1 half for my mixed number. Now for this final problem, what I want you to do is work it out all by yourself. And when you press play, I will have the answer for you. So pause the video now. Okay, so the answer for changing 5 thirds into a mixed number is 1 and 2 thirds. Make sure your work and your answer matches mine. If you need a little bit more of a refresher, you can rewind the video and review some of the other problems. You can also change the mixed number into an improper fraction. First, you multiply the whole number by the denominator. Then add the numerator. The denominator stays the same. Make sure you write this down in your notes. Please follow along with Mr. Megan as he changes this number into an improper fraction. Okay, so the first thing you will need to do is multiply the denominator by the whole number. Okay, so you'll multiply the denominator by the whole number, then you'll add the numerator. Okay, so first of all, 8 times 5, that's going to give me 40. Okay, then I'm going to add my numerator, and that's going to give me 44. Plus, plus 4 will give me 44. Okay, now remember what we talked about in the previous slide. The denominator does always stay the same. It's important to understand that whenever you're changing mixed numbers and improper fractions or improper fractions the mixed numbers, the denominator always stays the same. So we have 44 fifths. Okay, I do have a calculator on this slide because if you need to use your calculator for this, feel free to do that. Once again, multiply denominator times whole number, then add your numerator for 44 fifths. You want to get out your math journal and a pencil and work these next problems out with Mr. Mangan. Okay, the first thing you will need to do is write down 1 and 9 tenths, the mixed number 1 and 9 tenths. And just remember the few steps. The first thing you will do is multiply the denominator by the whole number. And then you're going to add the numerator. Okay, so first of all, we have 1 times 10. Pretty simple. That's going to equal 10. And then after this, we'll add the numerator, which is 9 equaling 19 and then once again the denominator stays the same and for 19 tenths for our answer. Okay let's look at another problem together. I want you to write down 3 and 4 ninths, the mixed number 3 and 4 ninths and just remember the steps. We're going to multiply denominator by whole number and then add the numerator. Okay so our first step is multiplying 3 times 9 and we all know that gives us 27 and you can use your calculator on this just to double check 3 times 9 equals 27 we're going to add our numerator to that 27 which is 4 27 plus 4 gives me 31 and then once again the denominator stays the same for 31 ninths as my improper fraction you will now need to pause this video and do this problem all by yourself. When you're done, Mr. Mangan will have the answer for you. Okay, the answer for turning this mixed number to an improper fraction is 31 sixth. You can see we multiplied 5 times 6 together, first of all, giving us 30, adding 1, giving us 31 sixth. If you have any questions about this concept, please come and see me. And finally, a special thanks to. Andrew, Sarah, and Emily for being our special guest stars on today's video.